Hey guys, Rick for another grumpy old gentleman on, on film video, but this time we're not talking about movies. Uh, Jay brought up a topic, which is a great idea, of talking about music, soundtracks, and scores. And music goes a long way. I mean, music makes or break movies. I mean, you've got some amazing soundtracks that have been released over the years, amazing scores. The Jaws score, for example, fantastic. If you, you know, where you hear the shark in the water, Superman. The Star Wars theme. There's some great music out there. And if you take that away, those films don't impact you like they used to. I mean, they can make, like I said, it makes or breaks a film. I have two that I'm going to talk about today. Um, first thing I want to bring up is the... I don't own a lot of soundtracks right now, and it's something I'm going to rectify. But this is what I've got to show. Uh, first off, i got Footloose. You know, released in 19... 19- 84, uh, fantastic soundtrack. This thing sat on top of the charts for uh, about two months, from April 21st to June 23rd, and it had about seven hits that made the top 100 out of nine songs on the soundtrack. Now, you think about that. That means almost every song on this soundtrack was, was just being buzzed on the radio. People love this soundtrack, and it's great. I mean, you got Kenny Loggins, who was the the pretty much king of movie soundtracks back there with the lead track Footloose. Let's Hear It For The Boys by Denise Williams. Almost Paradise, which was the love theme. Performed by Mike Reno and Anne Wilson of Heart. Holding Out For A Hero by Bonnie Tyler. Great song. Dancing In The Sheets by Shalimar. I mean, Girl Gets Around by Sammy Hagar. Somebody's Eyes. I mean, Never performed by Moving Pictures. I'm Free, which is another Kenny song. Logging song, song, but overall, a lot of great music. They even released an extended cut of this soundtrack in the late 90s that added four more songs that were featured in the movie that didn't make um, the original soundtrack for whatever reason. But, I mean, this is one of my all-time favorites. I remember having this on CD and driving around in my car and playing this thing like crazy at the house and in the 80s playing this particular album. So... Really cool soundtrack. I love, and I like the movie. The movie's great. Um, as far as scores, like I said, there's a lot of classic scores out there, and I only have one score in my collection right now that it stands out to me, and this is off the the Scream soundtrack. You know, the Scream soundtrack, you know, it's got a lot, you know a lot of good songs on it, but the standout is that Marco. Beltrami score on here that really carries the film when there's death and the impactful the music where it carries where the the reporters are investigating or the town's going on lockdown I mean it's very haunting a very um, creepy score you know and it really impacts you I mean this was just a well made movie by Wes Craven and uh, for some reason, if you've never seen it, you should. But uh, I'm going to put links down below so you can hear the soundtrack and the score. But, I mean, great, great music, I, th- I feel in my honest opinion. All right, that's all I've got, guys. So take care, and for this, maybe spin a soundtrack. Have a great day.